Well, hello everybody! Welcome back to another graphic arc video. And uh, yesterday I've been playing System Shock for like three, four hours, and I've also been recording along it. So uh, yeah, this is the video for today. We'll be testing System Shock remake on 4K, 1080p, and 1440p. We will be running here the ultra preset, so everything to the max. And uh, yeah, let's go. Uh, do know that uh, later on I will also show optimized settings for 4K because it drops when there is too many light sources because of a few settings. But I'll show you which ones you need to use at 4K to have really good image quality and uh, performance of course. But as you can see here at this section ultra preset is working quite good. 60 FPS almost all the time. Don't even need the DLSS, not sure why it's in the game, because Intel Arc can run this game perfectly fine. Well, except at some sections, but uh, yeah, it's a really good looking game actually, the performance is smooth, it's Unreal Engine though, there's some stuttering here and there, which you'll also see in the video, but uh, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. Oh, by the way, uh, today also came a new driver uh, for uh, Diablo Four and uh, Street Fighter 6 so let's see if maybe uh, Street Fighter 6 now works better yesterday I made a video I will leave a link in the description down below of benchmarking Street Fighter 6 and injecting XSS at 4k really did amazing thing but uh, yeah as you saw right there uh, it a few seen the FPS dropped even to around 40 at 4k so uh, yeah not that great experience uh, at some parts but most of the time it's like this as you can currently see 60 fps even in most intense fighting scenes later on that i've seen uh, it was around 60 fps at 4k max preset so uh, yeah i mean it's working good if you ask me the frame time graph i mean it's okay there are starters here and there like i said before but uh, nothing major that it makes this game unplayable it's uh, working really smooth actually but uh, yeah, I mean, will you be playing uh, System Shock, buying this game or uh, not? Let me know down in the comments below. I was really ex um, excited actually that this finally came out after I think six years when the trailer released. I think it was six years. I'm not totally sure. But yeah, here we go, guys. Let me quickly show you the settings here. We had 60 FPS, but once you turn on the lights, look at this. <laughs> the FPS drops to about 43, 44 because uh, mostly because of uh, these post-processing effects which uh, we will test in a bit but yeah look at this turning on the lights again fps drops from 60 to like 45 so <laughs> let's quickly test some settings i was expecting that fog quality would be the issue i said it here to high first and uh, it actually wasn't that much demanding <laughs> <laughs> but the post-processing see here i put every a few things to high and now we are actually getting about uh, 60 fps which is good uh, once the lights are turned on uh, there the dark corners and a few shadows look a bit more lighter so more brightness to them but nothing major if you ask me uh, so let's see here if we put uh, fucked ultra quality like i said before if there's any fps loss but uh, look at this guys it's working pretty good so uh yeah, shader quality you can leave on ultra. The most demanding uh, settings are actually shadow quality and uh, post processing quality, which you will see later on. See if you put here to high, look how much the FPS goes up. Like 20 FPS goes up in the menu, which <laughs> it's insane. Once you put, look, post processing also at high, we gain about 10 FPS, which uh, is interesting. The foliage you can leave to ultra, not much of a difference. Effects as well, so uh, you can leave effects at uh, ultra, even though we've seen a quick boost here later on, you will see that effects didn't do much thing to the FPS when the lights are turned on, so <laughs> yeah. Uh, but right now with these settings we are currently getting look at this 82 fps when the light, lights are turned on before we had 60 at max but uh, yeah once you turn on the post processing to ultra you can see the fps drops for a bit if you use also use the shadows to ultra then there's a massive drop so i recommend leaving this to high and the fix to ultra and uh, let's see what now we get just at the shadow quality see we get about 70 fps which is good but once you turn on the light let's see if there's any boost about 5 fps boost once we put the shadows to high 
but let me show you this now guys let me show you this now you will see what i mean if we put fx to high see not much of a difference only one fps so uh, put this to ultra back and put back shader quality to ultra because this can be at maximum setting and uh, let's check here what post pressing high does to our fps okay 62 what about if we turn to low look at this guys fps boost look at this fps boost like 15 fps plus and if you check at the screen only a few shadow quality and uh, stuff changes a bit but this is mostly just post processing depth of field and stuff so I actually left this at uh, low to leave uh, this for the optimized setting for 4K at Intel Arc and uh, shadow quality to high, the rest you can leave to ultra and uh, that's it. This should be the best setting to use. You can even use at 1440p though, if you use at 1440p ultra setting later on you'll see it works just fine. So uh, yeah, but look at these gains. Not much of a difference between visual quality, but we did gain about 20 plus FPS. So yeah, setting this to medium already drops our FPS below 60. And uh, as you can see, not much of a visual difference except some uh, shadow darkness, you know, post-processing effects. So just put this on low and have a smooth 60 plus experience all the time. I never seen drop it below 60 when I used the post-processing to low and shadow to high. And it really worked good because look at, the, look at these guys. Putting to ultra drops our FPS to 50. So yeah, set it to low and play at 4k if you have that or 1440p just put everything to max and that's it at 1080p i'm not sure I, my uh, cpu was bottlenecking for some reason this game it uh, delivered uh, worse performance than at 4040p for some reason but you later on see in the overlay what i mean but yeah here's some more gameplay now at uh, 4k optimized setting and uh, as we can see we are getting really really smooth fps about uh, 90 was the average that i've seen it except at some scenes that there were lots of uh, effects going on and the lights turned on there it was uh, really bad so yeah even though look here this we're going to the second digital world where you shoot as a spaceship or whatever this is and uh, look this lots of particle effects going on and everything exploding and we never actually drop below 60 you will also see in a bit there will be a big fight going on lots of effects and uh, the fps was about 70 the lowest i've seen which is uh, really good use the setting and uh, enjoy some system shock uh, oh yeah, don't mind the starters, uh, except in the video you probably won't see many because I did some montage, uh, so it doesn't show the starters, but there are some loading starters here and there. So that's it for, uh, for K, I mean this looks really good, look at this, lots of particles, everything going on, exploding, and <laughs> it's working so good. Uh, they really optimize this game. It, well, it doesn't look like you know ray tracing new game, but if you compare the classic OG System Shock to this one, it's a really really big improvement in terms of visual quality and uh, everything else. Probably, I have to finish the game to know if uh, they did any changes to the original concept or not. But yeah, hopefully it's not that. Uh, Pain in the ass floor, accessing elevators, going back, track backing to level 1, then going back to level 5, 6. God damn, this I know will take me some time for sure to finish. <laughs> but yeah, here's some gunfight at 4K optimized setting. Like I said, you can expect 100 FPS without any problems at this kind of scenes. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let me quickly show you here, guys. Go to the option settings, 1440p. Let's switch the resolution. Go to the graphical settings down here and change everything to ultra and see how System Shock Remake performs. You see, there's not much of a visual quality improvement with this post-processing effects, but okay, I mean, at 1440p, let's, it uh, works just fine at these settings. Well, uh, I never seen it drop, I think, below 90, so <laughs> that's really good to see. Just if you have 1440p, 
put everything to ultra and enjoy some smooth experience. I think in this game 60 FPS cap was uh, working just as smooth as like 90 FPS so uh, it's a single player game anyway so getting 144 FPS to stay competitive here in the shoot some zombies AI robots I don't think we need that here. Uh, yeah, look here some fighting scene again to comparing to the previous uh, GPU we had I mean uh, resolution 4k here we had like 90 FPS but uh, at 1440p uh, at ultra preset you get like 20 FPS more so we can see it's working really 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 good just here uh, these hit boxes man I I always uh, you know step back and uh, hit but in this game i think you need to step forward and hit making the zombies and stuff hit you i think i don't know uh, maybe it's just my style of gameplay i like to do this but the hitboxes are uh, really close to the body so maybe that's more realistic or what what am i even saying <laughs> anyways guys uh, like i said 1440p here we go 100 fps ultra preset way more than 100 fps the average one is uh, in the second uh, column we got average fps 118 at 1440 ultra preset let me not waste any more of your time here's some 1080p quick few, one minute gameplay as you can see up there at uh, the gpu usage site we get about 70 75 percent uh, GPU usage at 1080p, which is, uh, yeah, CPU bottleneck maybe, or uh, GPU not being utilized at 1080p. You can expect about 130 FPS average at 1080p ultra preset most of the time, but do know that your GPU will be bottleneck. That's it. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. See ya in the next one. Bye bye.